Hi, my Kayla crew. Welcome back. So today I have an Old Navy haul to share with you. It's a pretty big haul. Right before I went on my girls weekend, I placed an order online and I earned some super cash from that purchase. Don't we always earn super cash? It always gets us going back, right? So my super cash actually was for that very next weekend when I was going away. And so it was perfect timing. There was a huge Old Navy in the mall that we shopped at. And of course, I used my super cash to pick up some more fun pieces. So I did take some footage from Old Navy of the inventory that they had. So I'll show you that in this video too. And there's some footage of me. So let me tell you something. When I want something, I'm determined to get it. And you're going to see that in this video. There was a shacket that I wanted and they had one left and my friend picked it up and I thought, I want that shacket too. We went to the register. There were no more in the area. There were no more in Connecticut. We checked, you know, we had them check my local stores too. There were none to be found. Well, later on that day, we were almost done shopping. We're coming down the escalator and in the window, I see the shacket. Yep, and I'm like, that's the one. I just knew it was my size. Okay, let's jump into the haul. Oh, let me show you the footage first. We'll jump into the haul right after. So I'll try things on. You'll see how things look and see what I'm keeping and if I'm returning anything. Okay, so here was their selection of shackets. Oh, and there's my sister, Kelly. So for those of you that have been around my channel for a while, that's my sister. You've seen her before. I tried to get her to show what she purchased because she purchased a ton of stuff. You think I'm a shopaholic? She spent a lot of money, but she just didn't want to share. Nope. We'll try to convince her to make another appearance because it's fun having her on. Okay, so here is some of the clothing that they had. They had some pretty good sales, 60% off some of the tops. They had 30% off some of their jeans and whoops here we go they had some active wear and some loungewear I thought that the old navy was pretty big I was impressed with all of the stuff that they had and how well organized it was too and how spread out it was so I really liked that okay we're gonna round the corner Okay, so in this store, they had a ton of plaid. I didn't pick any up. I'm just not a big fan of how plaid looks on me. Here's some more denim in a boot cut, and they had some dresses. They had some jean jackets. They also had, oh, there's some more dresses too. I, oh, there was one dress I almost picked up but didn't, so I'm going to have to go back and spend my super cash. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the clips of what the store looked like and what the inventory was like in that particular store. Oh, I do want to mention that anything I can find online, I will go ahead and link below. So if you're interested, you can go grab it for yourself. All right, so this first piece is something they're calling the crew neck half zip quilted sweatshirt. And I only paid $13.15. $13.15, isn't that a great price? Now that's after my, you know, Old Navy, the super cash and everything like that. I think I had a coupon too. I don't remember. Maybe it was on sale. Now the fabric on this pullover is 67% cotton and 37% polyester. You can machine wash this in cold water and it was made in Indonesia. I did pick this up in my normal size extra large. Sometimes with Old Navy, I can size down to a large, but with this one, I went with my true size and I'm happy with my choice. I love the color of this. I was really drawn to kind of like, it's almost like that bomber style. Well, I think they called it in the name, right? So here's the neckline. It's got the zipper, so you can kind of make it a little bit more unzipped or you could zip it up if you like, but you guys know. I don't like things too close to my neck. So this is like a perfect kind of, I'd wear it like that and I'd wear it open. I'd probably like even iron this side down, like press it down so that it would stay down. Um, you can see the quilted style. Can you, there you go, close up. And then it's got, whoops, the elastic, I'm way too close around the wrist area, but it's not tight to my wrist. So it's not, you know, bothering me. So it's really cute. It does have the elastic around the waistband too. What do you think about it? It's a little bit short, but I thought it would be a good piece for just maybe running around, doing errands on a cooler day. Not a super cold day, but maybe like a fall, you know, early fall day. Like today, I think it's about 55 degrees outside, and this would be perfect for a day like today. Just kind of running around, doing errands, 
I thought it was cute. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of press this, I think, so it stays down, because I really do like the look of this a lot. Something different to add to my closet, too. So let me know what you think about it. I think it's cute. Let me show you the back. So yep, my first purchase. And for $13.15, like you can't pass that up, right? For a nice piece that you can use to just, you know, run around, do, you could probably like dress this up a little bit too. Throw on some booties, you know, my wedge booties from Walmart that I picked up might make this a cute look too. Have it out with my uh, dark wash jeans. These are my own jeans, but I did pick up a pair of jeans from Old Navy. I think this might be my first pair of jeans that I've ever purchased from Old Navy like a true denim uh, pair of jeans. I picked up, I think last year, a pair of olive green pants and a rust colored pair of pants. But this is my first time trying out a true pair of blue denim. So I'm excited to try those on. Okay, let me try on the next item and I will be right back to share it with you. Okay, ladies, this was one of my online purchases and I made a little mistake with this one. I meant to purchase the long sleeve version of this top and I purchased kind of like a half sleeve <laughs> version of this top. Oops, it's one of their oversized luxe tees and it's really super soft and comfortable. I love the color. They're calling this color Copper Moon. This one I did size down to a large and I think that was a good decision on this one. Now the fabric is 96% viscose and 4% spandex. This top was made in Haiti, and you can machine wash this in cold water. Now with my online purchases, I don't know what the final price was because it just lists the regular price, which was $20. So I did have a discount that I used with the online purchase. So I don't know what, I have to do the math and see what it was. But anyway, my online purchase totaled like $111 and I picked up like seven pieces. So that's not bad, right? But anyway, yeah, I was going for the long sleeve version of this top and somehow ended up putting this one in my cart. <laughs> so anyway, I do love the color. It is more of an oversized top. Like I mentioned before, I'm typically an extra large and I did size down to a large. Um, so yeah, love the color. Neckline, I'm not really crazy about either. So yeah, oops, and there's a thread here. Let me move that, um, or take that off, I should say. You can see it's kind of got like that brushed look too throughout. So yeah, I wish that I had picked up the right one. I saw it on, I think it was like on the front page or maybe it was on an email and I clicked through and this, I think this was the piece that like I started my haul with, my online haul, because I thought this was more of like a boat neck Maybe they have one out there and I just, I think I put the wrong one in my car. Oops. All right, let me show you the back of it. Oh, well, but if you live in a warmer climate and you still want to wear the fall colors, this is a great piece because it's a pretty, pretty color for fall and it'll keep you cool, but you still get to wear fall, right? Okay. I think this is where I'm going to show you the jacket. I think. Hmm. Let me grab it. I really want to share that with you. I'm so excited. I was going to save the best for last. I think it's the best, but maybe we'll just do it now because I'm excited about it. Okay, we'll save it for a little while because I want to try on something else with the jacket. Now let's talk about some basics that I picked up. I actually picked up four of these and I picked up two white and two black. Call me crazy, but when I find a piece that I love, especially a good basic layering piece, I'm picking up a couple of them in a couple colors. And I know I pick them up in your basic, neutral, boring colors, but I wear them all the time for layering. So, and the, these are from their Lux line, and I love Old Navy's Lux tees and tanks. And I picked this up in a V-neck, I got it in black, and like I said, I love them so much, I got two. Now with these, I did size down to a large. Like I said, I'm typically an extra large, but I got these in a large and I think the fit is nice. You have some movement on the bottom. The armholes fit nicely. Oh, I didn't tell you what I paid. Let me tell you what I paid for these. $7.83. Isn't that an awesome price? So let me see. Actually, I forgot to look at the fabric. I think it's 95 rayon and 5% spandex, but let me just make sure. So yeah, I think it is. It's the same for all of them. Uh, yeah, 95 rayon and five spandex made in Haiti and machine wash cold. So, yep, I got the black, I got the white, two of each. Like the length, did I show you the armholes? The armholes are nice. So if you're looking for some good 
basic layering tanks. Check out Old Navy. And I love, you guys know, <laughs> I love a good V-neck. My closet is full of V-necks because they're the most flattering on my shape. And so when I find a V-neck that I love that fits me well and is a good price point, I'm going to pick up a bunch. And that's just what I did. So, yep, I know, boring, nothing special, but we all need basics, right, for our layering pieces, for our cardigans, for our blazers, for our jackets. Oh, I got to show you the back. I'm just going to keep rambling about the basic t-shirt or the basic tank. So, yep, can't beat the price either. Okay, let me, I'm not going to try on the black. You get the idea. So, oh, maybe I will under a cardigan or something, but all right, let me grab something to throw over this. I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, can you tell how much I'm loving this color this fall? They're calling the color of this cardigan Dateline. Isn't it really, really pretty? This is one of their shaker long line cardigans. I did size down to a large in this cardigan, and I think that was a good choice. This is one of the items I purchased online, and I almost picked up another color, but I wanted to see how the fit was on this first. And when I shopped in store, I actually didn't see any in the store that I was at, or maybe I just missed it because there was a lot of pieces. So I probably missed some things because I'm not one to flip through every single rack. So it could have been that I missed it. But anyway, the fabric on this cardigan is 55% cotton, 25% viscose, and 20% nylon. It was made in Bangladesh, and you can machine wash this in cold water. Did I tell you a size, I sized down to a large? I think I did. Yeah, I definitely told you that. So I love the color. I like the length. It does have pockets too. Let me come close so you can see the knit of the sweater. Isn't it pretty? And let's see, what else do I have to tell you about this cardigan? Oh, it does have slits on either side, on both sides, I should say. And I put on jeans. Now, the jeans, I'm on the fence about. We're going to have to talk about those in just a second. But I threw on some leopard print booties with this outfit i actually think this makes for a cute outfit with a cardigan the jeans came from them the tank came from them so a cute outfit right can you see the booties i think you can um but what do you think about it so i just don't know about the jeans because of the big you know hole at the knee but we'll talk about those so love the cardigan it gives you good coverage in the back let me show you the back of it So you guys let me know what you think. I'm going to turn the camera down and we're going to talk about these jeans. Okay, so let's talk about the jeans. Now the jeans, I think they called their OG straight leg jeans. And I picked them up in a size 16. I didn't pick them up in a petite and the length is good, don't you think? So yeah, I'm wearing a regular 16, you know, regular length and it fits me nicely. So yay for that. These are a high-waisted jean. Let me pull up the tank so you could see and the cardigan too, it's kind of in your way, huh? So they are a high waist to jean. Now these don't have a lot of stretch to them and I kind of like that. So these are 99% cotton and 1% spandex. And these are, they were made in Pakistan. I already told you, um, you know, the size. And you can machine wash these in cold water. So I like the fit, I like the length. I just don't know how I feel about the distressing at the knee area being so big. What do you think? I don't mind some distressing, but is it too much? You guys let me know. I'm gonna have to watch back and see what I think too. Um, but yeah, a nice length on them. They do have your classic five pocket style. I just don't know. I like the wash of them. The distressing is really throwing me off. I own a lot of pair of distressed jeans and I like them for weekend wear. I can't wear them to work, but is this too much here? And then they have some distressing kind of on the upper thigh area here. Ooh, you can see some skin there, woo! <laughs> so anyway, yep, here are the jeans. So we're gonna have to, I'm gonna watch back and see what I think about them. Like I said, what's nice about these is that they don't have a ton of stretch. Sometimes when I put on a pair of jeans that I get in a box or that I purchase from another store, I can feel them stretching out as soon as I put them on. With these, I don't feel like that, which is really nice. Sometimes you want a pair of jeans that's gonna hold their shape well and not stretch out through the day, because then at the end of the day, you're like pulling them up, you know, and it's not a good look. So I like that about this pair of jeans. Okay, I'm gonna go see what Lexi's barking at, and then I'm gonna change, and I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay, so in my last Dia and Co box, I received a black sweater, and I really liked the concept of it, 
but it was 100% acrylic and it was literally stretching out just during the try on. And I just thought, you know what, if it's stretching out this much just during the try on, it's going to be like a big like sack at the end of the day, you know, it's just going to be very like oversized and stretched out and it's going to lose its shape. So I sent that one back and I found this one on Old Navy's website. They're calling this like a voop sweater. It's like a V-neck and scoop. Clever, huh? So I'll show you the neckline close up. So it's, I like it, the voop. I love that. Oh, I did size down to a large on this as well. What I like about Old Navy is that when you go on their website, when you click on each item, it tells you the recommended size based on like your measurements and your typical size and things like that. So they, their recommended size for me with this was a large. I really like that. So the length on this one is good. Oh, I'm missing a lot. I didn't tell you. It's 100% cotton. It was made in Cambodia and you can machine wash this in cold water. I love that it's 100% cotton. I think the shape of it's really good. What do you think about it? The length is good. Love this voop neckline too. I'm actually gonna see if they have a couple other colors. You know, last year Old Navy made a really nice sweater and they were V-necks and I picked up a couple of colors. Now, one color is stretching out more than the other. I can't remember the fabric. They were longer sweaters. The white one's holding up pretty well, but I have like a rust colored one and that one's stretching out quite a bit. But anyway, we're not talking about that. This year, I think this year is what, you know, replaced the style of last year's sweater. I really like this one. I think it looks nice with the jeans and the booties. Whoops, can you see that? I kept my leopard print booties on. So I think this is a really cute look. Okay, I've got to show you the back of it, so hang on. So you've got the coverage in the back too. It does have some, does it have ribbing? Oh, uh, not really, it's kind of the same knit throughout. Oh, it does have some ribbing around the wrist area. So there you go. So yep, happy with my new black sweater and I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay, so this next blouse is the oversized poet blouse. Now with this one, I sized down to a large. I ordered it online and I should have went with my normal size extra large because I've got the gaping. I should have known that would have been an issue because it's a button, it buttons all the way down. I'll show you in just a second. I should have known, but I think it's really cute. I'm gonna see if I can exchange it for an extra large because I think that would solve the gaping. It's not all the way down, it's just right here, of course, in my bust area, right? Am I alone in that? I don't know. I always have that problem with the gaping. Hmm. Anyway, I love the concept of this blouse. It did come tied, so I'll show you what it looks like tied, but you guys know that's not my jam, so I untied it right away. But if you like that, I'll just kind of show you what it looks like. I prefer untied, so it creates a split V. Although, actually, you know what? It's kind of cute tied, too. You know, while I'm closer, let me show you. Whoops, let me cover the gaping. The really pretty print of it. I love that. And then you can see kind of the stitching or the seam here is kind of a different print, a lighter blue. It does have elastics at the wrist area, but they're not tight to my wrists. Um, so I love the concept of it. I just, I'm going to try an extra large and see if that makes a difference. Oh, the fabric is 55% cotton and 45% viscose. You can machine wash this in cold water. I think it said it was made in Cambodia, but I'll put it below or across the screen or something. The length is a little bit shorter, but it's not too, too short. I like the balloon sleeve look on this one too. So yeah, I'm hoping that an extra large works. So sometimes with these type of tops, it can be kind of a bad look for me. It can kind of make me look bigger than I am here in this area. I don't think that's the case for this one. Oh, did I show you the buttons all the way down? Yeah, they're just, oh, whoa, let me... <laughs> I'm going to flash you. Maybe I, I got to be careful. I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> so there we go. You can see the buttons all the way down. So cute. I'm going to try to size up. So hopefully they have a size, my size, and you'll see that in the future. Okay. I'll be right back with the next. Oh, I got to show you the back. Hang on. All right. Now I'm changing. Okay. I'm telling you, I love Old Navy for their good basic pieces especially their t-shirts. Now I picked this one up. This is one of their Lux long sleeve v-neck tees and it's very similar to the tanks I showed you earlier. 96% rayon, 4% spandex. It was made in Haiti and you can machine wash it in cold water. I did stick to my normal size extra large with this piece and I thought it would be good for layering under vests. So yep, I picked it up in black, just a good basic. I know boring, but we all need these basic layering pieces, right? 
So yep, happy with this one. Let me show you the back of it. Happy with it, very comfortable. I love their Lux line. If you haven't tried their Lux line for tanks and tees and long sleeve tees, go check it out because they have some really nice pieces. It feels really nice and soft too. Okay, let me see. Maybe I'll put the jacket on with this. So let me grab it and see what we think. Okay, so here's the jacket that I picked up. I've been on the hunt for a jacket. I saw this one in Old Navy and it was in a neutral color and I thought I just have to try it. This one is a bit big. I did pick it up in a double extra large. I probably could have used my normal size extra large. I couldn't pass this up though. I just thought it was so cute and I just had to have it. It is so super soft. This is one of those pieces where I say, I wish you could feel through the screen and just feel how soft this piece is. I love it. So this is 71% polyester and 29% nylon. This was made in Vietnam and you can machine wash this in cold water. So shackets are supposed to have that oversized look too. Now I've tried on some plaid ones and they're just not for me. They're cute on other people, but for me, I just look like a farmer. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just, they're not, plaid's not for me. So I was so psyched to see that they had this in a neutral color. They also had it in pink. Now they didn't have my size in pink or a size close for me to try on. So I couldn't try it on to see if I would even like the pink, but I thought the white was so pretty. I just love it. I wish you could feel through the screen. I'm gonna come close so you can see. It does have pockets on both sides up here and they are buttoned. You can unbutton them too. I don't know what you'd use them for. And they do, or the jacket does have a button on the wrist area on both sides and you can button it up if you wanted to, but I would just wear it open, yeah. It's so soft and comfortable too. I know, I think it looks a bit big, but I just, I couldn't leave this in the store. So it does have pockets too. Yeah, what do you think? Can I pull it off? I think it's pretty cute. Oh, so I put on, I have on the same jeans from Old Navy and I put on my leopard print booties again. So I think it makes for a cute outfit with the black underneath. So it's a cute layering piece too. I like it. What do you think about it? So I think I paid like $45 for this, so not a bad price either, right? Some of the jackets are going for a lot more than this. So yeah, I was very happy when I saw this. So yeah, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think about it. Can I pull it off? I hope so because I went through a lot of work to get this piece, but you know what? If I can't, that's okay. I can live with that. All right, I gotta show you the back of it. So I do have a lot of room with it. So, I mean, I could definitely size down. Um, I'm going to hope that maybe my local store, even though they checked for me, has it so I can exchange it. But I wanted to just show you the one I picked up because I went through so much work to get it. <laughs> and my friend helped me too. And of course, the store associate, I didn't take it off. I didn't rip it off the mannequin myself, okay? I wanted to, but I didn't. I wanted to because I was so excited. But, you know, I kept as calm and cool as I could. And I found a store associate and all of the store associates there were so nice and helpful. And he's like, yeah, of course, I'll grab it off the mannequin for you. And yeah, all right. So let me know what you think about that and my, my little uh, adventure to get this jacket. All right, if I want something, I'm gonna get it. I'm very determined. That's one of my strong qualities. I'm gonna get what I want <laughs> and I did. <laughs> So anyways, let's move on. I've got, I think, one more piece to share with you. Okay, now I picked up one of their scarf wraps. Now, I don't wear them as scarves. I wear them as wraps over, like, you know, basic neutral pieces. And I tried to find, so I'm going to come close so you can see. It's a really pretty, like, light, like, beige and light gray color with some kind of ivory cream. So it's, I love the pattern and the color, so soft for, like it's really pretty, I'm thinking for like winter, you know, January, February, um, and I love, it has the fringe too on the bottom. So I tried to find a top, a long sleeve top in my closet. So here we have a gap. Can you believe I have a gap in my wardrobe? So I couldn't find a light enough gray top or, you know, a tan top to wear with this. So I just put it on with a gray sweater. I know it doesn't look the best, but I couldn't find it. There we go. We'll hide it so you can see the wrap. Um, I couldn't find anything. So I got to find a light gray 
top. I'm going to look at their Lux line to see what they have or even a beige or an ivory. The white against this was just too stark of a contrast. So I decided to go with gray, even though it doesn't look the best. But anyway, I like these wraps for, you know, work. I keep one or two in my office. So if it gets a little bit cold at my desk, I can just kind of throw one over my shoulders. But I also like them. Sometimes I wear them to work with just like a black top, depending on what color, because I have like a leopard print one. Of course I do, right? So I usually wear that one with a black uh, top or sweater underneath and like a tassel style necklace. You could even belt this if you like wearing belts. I'm not a belt girl. I don't own many belts, so I wouldn't personally do it, but I think it looks cute belts. Like these wraps look cute belts on other people. So I really like this one. It's soft. Oh, I got to tell you, where's the tag? Because I got to tell you what it's made out of and where it was made. This is a one size piece. Here we go. Here it is. So this is made in China. It's 100% polyester and you can machine wash this in cold water. So yeah, it's super, super soft. I really like the, the print of it, the colors, the soft colors. So I just have to find something to wear underneath it. I know it kind of looks crazy, but you know, you could wear it open. You could wear it closed if you wanted to. Um, let me show you the back of it. So yep, nice and soft and a nice piece to add to my closet. Okay, I'll be right back and we'll do a quick recap. Okay, so what'd you think? Did you have a favorite piece? We had some basics and we had some fun pieces. So what I'm going to return is that poet blouse. I'm going to see if I can exchange it for an extra large. I'm going to return that copper moon uh, half sleeve shirt and see if they have a long sleeve version in that same color. And I'm going to return, what was the third thing I was going to return? What was it? Now I don't remember. Oh, maybe the jeans. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to watch back and see what I think. I want a pair in that cut because I really like the cut and the length was perfect. But I think I'm going to see if they have one with maybe not as much distressing in the knee area. So you guys let me know what your favorite piece is. Are you going to pick anything else up? Have you been shopping at Old Navy? You're always getting that super cash. In fact, I earned even more to spend, so you guys know there's going to be another haul as soon as I can spend my cash, although there might be one this weekend because I have, you know, one of the really nice associates at the store gave us a 50% coupon. It's like a friends and family sale for this weekend, November, what is it? I think it runs from the 6th to the 8th, and I'm like, hmm, it's my birthday weekend, so I might treat myself to another shopping spree using that coupon, so <laughs> you may see one sooner than my super cash is ready to use. So, okay, I'm not going to keep rambling. Thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button. And I'll see you all really soon for some more clothing and fashion.